happening. Or not. <laughs> Sorry, I, I get nervous when I start a comedy set. I, uh, ah, I, find, I find comedies very similar to sex for me. Um, well, it's exactly like sex when you think about it. You know, just me, the comedian, playing the role of the man. And you, the audience, the role of the woman. Because it's, it's my job to satisfy you. And, and you just have to sit there. <laughs> and then just like sex, my success or failure is somehow determined by how much noise you make <laughs> during my performance. Oh, you're just faking it now, thank you. It's a one-sided affair. Oh, so I hope you aren't the quiet types. <laughs> no, no, you were great, really. <laughs> Makes it worse when a guy laughs in the middle of it. <laughs> it's not meant to be funny. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is my first time in Australia, and I must say I'm enjoying it after two days of traveling to get here. I, I finally arrived, and it's, it's a, quite a quaint place. Um, it wasn't supposed to take me that long. We were delayed. Um, first delay was, was uh, I got to the airport in Johannesburg. I was on a Qantas flight, and they said, oh, sorry, sir, there's a bit of a delay. I said, how long? They said, 24 hours. <laughs> so that's not a delay, that's cancellation. <laughs> That's another day. So they said, come back tomorrow. I came back the next day, and then we tried it again, and this time we were on the plane. And there was another delay of about four to five hours where we were stuck on the tarmac, and the plane couldn't take off because the airplane wasn't balanced. I've never heard of that in my life. <laughs> That's what the pilot said. And like, because he's a pilot, we believe him. He just, he just said it. Because the pilot sounds serious when they're saying it. He came on and said, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a bit of a problem on the plane. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Seems like uh, it's not uh, balanced, but we'll, uh, we'll have to check on what's going on and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we know. <laughs> and I won't lie. As soon as he said that, I looked at the fat people. <laughs> but not, not in a bad way, not in a bad way, just in an objective manner, like, hey, you guys, you can't sit together. You need to sit one on, yeah, the plane. It's probably you, it's probably you. <laughs> Speaking of fat people, is Biggest Loser the biggest show in, in uh, Australia? That's all I see on TV, is just the biggest loser. I love that show, it's fantastic. It's always on TV. What a fantastic show. For those who don't know, The Biggest Loser is a show where they, they try and help fat people lose weight uh, through torture, basically. <laughs> Yes, both emotional and physical, yeah. They do horrible things, like leaving food in the house that they're living in, then ask them why they're eating it. Why did you eat the food, Kevin? Why did you eat the food? Because it was there and he's fat. That's what he does. That's like his specialty. You knew this before he came. Why are you now acting shocked? They should do a show about the people that make the show and call them the biggest assholes. That's what they should say. The show's not helping anybody. I love it. What an amazing show. But yeah, so we were flying. So we flew. Uh, so flew from Johannesburg to, to Sydney. Sydney, you come in. Um, and then you have to leave the airport and then go back into the airport to fly. Uh, you go through border control. Very friendly. I must say, Australia, I'm very impressed. Very friendly border control. You guys are very chilled out, very cool. Like, visas, not, not really, like, needed, sort of. It is, but not, like, the, do you have your visa? No. You know? I learned the secret to getting through uh, from a few Chinese men that were ahead of me is that you just have to irritate the border police and then they just let you in. There's a guy ahead of me, and the woman was asking him, excuse me, sir, where are you gonna be staying in Australia? No, where are you staying? He like, kangaroo, kangaroo. Kan no, sir, where are you staying? Kangaroo, kangaroo. No, no sir, you can't, no, it's not like, where are you gonna be staying? Kangaroo, kangaroo. Kan All right, just go in, just go in, just go. I just came in. He was just like, it was fantastic, it was fantastic. Yes, and he had this look when he got to the other side, like, it works every time. It just, you know, this knowing look about him. And so we, you come in, and, and, and it seems too easy, because it is, because the border control is very chilled, but then you get to, like, to the customs, which is the most hardcore place in the world. I don't know what the hell happened in Australia, but you guys need to chill out when it comes to fruit. People are standing there being strip shirts. Where did you get the apple? 
I don't care if you can't speak English. You're gonna spend a week in quarantine, mate. Where did you get the apple? I don't care. I don't care. Where's the apple from? You see people, there's like, there was a guy that was stopped for weed that was that marijuana. Well, don't do it again, but you with the apple! Back to where you came from. What, what did fruit do to your country? It's such a weird place getting used to Australia because you finally come in and then you can't understand anybody. You really, really can't because, because like you guys say you speak English, but it's not. It's like you, like, you, like you try, but then I couldn't tell. Like sometimes it actually sounds like it's Chinese. I used to hear people making jokes about, oh, there's all these Chinese, but, but then when you come, you don't know if the Australians are Chinese or not Chinese. Like, because it sounds the same to me, especially like a very deep Australian accent. Very, like, like people say things, oh, yeah, how you going? Oh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Shishini, shishini, I don't know what's going on here, man. This is, this is very, and then the phrases I do understand don't make sense, like, uh, like positive phrases, like apparently, apparently she'll be right. I don't know who she is and how she applies to me, but this is very important to say in Australia. Uh, you also feel it's very important to tell everybody that you have no worries. Yeah, this is, I didn't ask you about your life's philosophy, I just asked you how you were on the day, and you, oh, no worries, no worries. Really, not even one, not even one worry? Really, Australia, are things that good here? No, not, not even one, not even prostate cancer, not even one, or not even North Korea, because those guys are close, I'm just saying. Not even, not even one worry, yeah, yeah. And the, the, the strangest one, and this is something I've learned, which I wish you'd teach people before they come, is uh, the correct answer to the phrase, how you going, is not by aeroplane. I, um, <laughs> I feel it's strange to ask people this when they are traveling. I was, I was flying with Sydney, and then we were going from to Melbourne, and I got to the counter, and I said to the woman, hi, I'm going to Melbourne, please. And she said, oh yeah, how you going? And I said, by aeroplane. <laughs> that is why I've chosen this building over here to be traveling in. And she said, no, no, I was greeting you. And I said, oh, no worries. <laughs> you guys have been great, thanks for having me. Have a good night.